What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow YouTubers? Uh, this video, I'm actually going to do the featured episode uh, called Melting Pot. Now, I also have to say that um, because of like busy with uh, real life issues, uh, this video is a little bit late but it is what it is and hopefully this featured episode is going to be worth it because i have not actually um um like played through this thing i have not read anything about it i only read about this featured episode that it's going to introduce our new fleet holding um and it's going to be with LeVar Burton uh, Jordy. And um, yeah, it's going to be something between the Lucari Kentari. Um, it's going to bridge them somehow. And uh, let's let's get to it. Let's let's just hail this thing. Okay, melting pot. And I also want to say one thing. If you guys look really closely, they kind of change the graphics. Or at least I think they change the graphics. My character looks a little bit darker than normal. Uh, not really a big fan of that. Maybe that's just a setting that I have to do. But not really a big fan of what they changed. But anyway, let's uh, melting pot. The Kentari and Lucari governments have begun work on a joint colonial site in the Draenor system. Starfleet has been assisting both groups on the project, as have other Alliance members. I'd like you to join the effort and help them get things moving forward. There's been Zenkethi activity in neighboring sectors, and both the Lucari and Kentari have clashed with them in the past. Dranur itself has little tactical value. The Zenkethi are known to carry a grudge. Keep that colony safe. Admiral. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> okay, so another Admiral is hailing me and putting me on this assignment. So that's another Admiral. Hey, dude, I'm recording. Stop being annoyance. Uh, okay, so featured episode, weekly reward. Those are the specialization point or those um, R&D uh, items that you can have. A little bit of dilithium. Whoa, what is this? A pre... pre... pre Eminent warp core, singularity core for the Romulans. Nice. What the hell? This thing is awesome. Look at this. Oh, man. If these things are going to... Wow, we're going to... Oh, sh okay. We're going to get a new set, space set for... So engines, deflector, and shields. Man, I do hope these things are going to get visuals. I don't think so, but I hope that they give us visuals on these. Because that was going to be awesome. Um, so this warp core, let's see, 17.5 is starship shield capacity, it's going to improve shield hit points, uh, shield power, shield power, everything is shield on this thing, what the hell, add 75, 7.5% uh, 7 of your shield power to your weapon power as a bonus, wow, nice, nice for DPS, also auxiliary power to your engines, wow this thing is overall good, um, shield power buff plus 10% in shield resistance for the next 10 seconds, plus uh, 15 shield power setting for the next 10 seconds repairs shield offline system when this, uh, when this removes a shield offline plus 50 to starship exotical particle uh, generator and also plus 25 tetrion damage for the next 15 seconds uh four minute cooldown Ugh. okay and this is just a placeholder that we really don't want uh engines F uh plus 14 in flight speed okay uh turning rate uh shield power again and impulse engines oh this is also part of a space set deflector dish physical damage resistance auxiliary shield restoration again shield capacity exotical particle generator control expertise i'm sensing a theme that everything is on survivability with shields <laughs> hold on a second what what is this 8,883.2 maximum four shield capacity? Four shield capacity. What did they mean by that? Only the forward arc is going to have that amount of capacity? Wow, okay. 
Okay, so we got a lower shield capacity on the front. Left and right shield capacity is okay. And the maximum shield capacity on the aft of your ship is 13,324.8. Now that is based upon my character. Uh, those numbers could vary uh, for, for you know all of the items that you have on your ship. All of the skills, all the traits and etc. etc. Bridge officers, everything you know, um, kind of messes around with those numbers. Um, wow, that's a lot. You guys that are going for shield tanks and stuff like that, you guys are going to have some awesome shields when this thing comes available on uh, 26th of October. You guys are going to get the four-piece set from these uh, from these sets. Wow, that is definitely awesome. So, wow. Okay, so full tanks, full survivability right here. Um... Also, shield regeneration every six seconds and resistance rating to control debuff scales with shield power reduces radiant damage radiation damage to shield 20% reduces anti-proton damage to shield 20%. Uh, wow, I'm definitely loving all of these new um, pre uh, preeminent 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 uh, space set. Wow. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But anyway, let's accept this mission. Um, and I'm also going to transwarp there. Right here. And let's see what this uh, mission is all about. Very excited. We did have like a, uh, what was it? Like a 12 gig uh, that we needed to download with this new update. And I hope it's going to be worth it. Music is a little bit loud. Dude, what is happening right now? All right, apply. Begin melting pot. Here we go. Very excited, very excited. Season 14. It's quite unusual, isn't it? I see. Good to see you again. Um, all right, let's do this one. Awesome. Starfleet is quite uh, adept at <laughs> colonial operations. <laughs> I acknowledge Helm as a course for the challenge's location. I guess. What is. Why am I seeing double? Is it just me? Or is it. Oh, okay, it's this system. Everything is double. Wow, that is so going to be annoying. Okay. I think we're not even going to go in combat, but just to make sure. Wow, that is going to give me a headache. That is uh, not good. The what now? The Delta Triangle? What, what is that? Is that the, the Expanse? What they know about, like, Archer Enterprise? Hmm, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, music, not really into music in uh, Star Trek. Ambient voice needs to be 100%. There we go. Sorry about that, that guys, but wow. This thing is making me so dizzy right now. That's crazy. Scan. A 
the Borger here. <laughs> now, this is just a bridge over of mine. We're having trouble getting any readings from the lateral sensors, sir. The anomaly in this area is intense. We may, we may need to get into closer range to get more meaningful results. <laughs> okay. Triangulate the position for a new scan. Oh, Shields is gone. Or is that because I was in warp? Okay. Alright, let's go there. Hurry up. Scan anomaly. Oh, shit, this thing. Wave form. Alright. What do we do? Asteroids, these things down here. Yep. What? Get a core sample. Okay. I'm liking the mini games. Definitely an awesome. Uh, addition to STO. Now, one thing that I kind of want you guys to uh, notice, like usually when we're doing like dilithium runs and stuff like that, dilithium mining, you usually have like a timer uh, countdown. I think it's like from, from 50 or something like that to all the way to zero. But right now it's going the other way around. So you basically are not bound to like a time limit right here. Okay. Why is there a buoy right there? Are you kidding me? Okay. One of these emitters. Emitters! Probably Zenkethia are behind this thing. Might be in combat right here. Looks like the emitter relays are offline. We'll need to realign them. Alright. Hopefully no Klingons are gonna <laughs> be in some kind of like cloaking area behind that asteroid. If you guys get the reference. No waveforms? Okay. I'd like to run a spectral analysis at the indicated area. Alright. More science stuff. I like it. I don't have a probe. Do you guys fire probes? But we'll need to get closer to the moon first. What's the which one is the moon? The, this green thingy? Yeah. The moon has a lot of algae on it. It's not barren as our moon is. These guys probably use their uh, proto matter to make it like um, to make it a food source. Uh, launch probe. Is it gonna come out of my ship? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, nice. All right. Where did the probe go? Okay. Okay. What's happening? Alright, let's go there. Seriously? Alright, let's get there. Let's want to go there, buys the drinks. Yep. You guys are buying drinks. All right, let's go. Even though I'm kind of like already know what's going to happen because I've been on trouble a couple of times. Um, maybe they added something new, something that I did not see before.
Ooh, nice. All right. Uh, what they've already built is quite impressive. Hey, I haven't seen anything. Look, do you guys see what I mean with those colors? Look at look at the colors. They're like totally different right here, right now. The colors on on my character is different. The surroundings are different. Maybe they updated something. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's quite impressive. Nice! Lead on, Captain! I wonder if we can actually go here. No. Nope. This this part right here is sealed off somehow, somewhere, some why. I have no idea why. Do we talk to this guy? Kayema? Chayema? Okay. All right. The Federation is always glad to be of assistance of uh, fledgling colonies. All right. We're trying to build an industrial infrastructure while respecting the Kerry design recommendations. <laughs> it's a challenging. Nice. For instance, they've included considerable seamascaping. They're committed to incorporating native plant life into the design spaces. It takes considerable effort, but it does mean that our structures are less to invasive problems with local plant <laughs> invasive problems <laughs> oh that's just awesome <laughs> aesthetic as well as functional we keep an eye for it nice i love aesthetics aesthetics are awesome is quite the hidden paradise. i know right it's awesome all right guess we have to do something with the uh plants right here examine Xenoscaping. The fusion of Lucari and Kentari technology has been very effective. Nice. Our integrated tech output continues to impress. This display will confirm that. Hey, stop being so happy about it. <laughs> oh, guys, I do want to say one thing. Uh, if I stand still, there are like buffs and stuff like that on my character. That's not part of the mission. That is just like, you know, something that uh, I have on this character. Uh, check master system display. Okay, so what's gonna appear? As you can see, our energy grid uses an array of natural power sources. This is the first of many hydropower sites on Dranor. Yeah, I know. I've been here before and I love it. I love it. Look at these waterfalls. This is awesome. I know, man. It's awesome. I love it. Whoever has designed this colony right here on Dranur. At least that's how they pronounce it. Is uh is really really good in his job or her job, could be a female too. Uh, talk to Kleilun. Kleilun. Quite a sight, isn't it? I've surveyed the output as part of setting up hydropower here. All right. How much power do you think the waterfall would generate? I've noticed you're wearing a breather mask. All right, let's do that. Uh-huh, okay. Made me more conscious of the need to regulate the pollution that we generate and more appreciative of what we have here. All right, how much power? I'd eyeball this at a base of three kilowatts. Ah. Which doesn't seem like much until you consider that there are falls like this all over the coast. They seem to be active year-round. Now, the challenge will be to capture that energy without disrupting the ecosystem. All right, thank you. Upstairs. This way? I love the... Oh, okay, we got path notes. <laughs> nice. I love that. That is awesome. Oh, right here as well. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Is this one of those transporter thingy? Oh, we're going to get a cutscene. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. We got... You can see, we've made considerable progress here. Indeed. I'm quite proud of our achievements. Look at her. She's happy. <laughs> awesome. More to be done, but the foundation we've laid is solid. 
Awesome. We kind of actually see like scaffolding up there. It's like, you know, work in progress. Wow, that's this is truly awesome. I love it. I love that they the way that they're introducing like this new colony. That's just that's just two thumbs up in my book. Awesome. All right. Moving on. Fair warning. Our researchers can be a bit eccentric. What? Why? Okay, new map. But where is she? Is she is she gone? All right, let's. She just disappeared. She's not with us anymore. All right, check data. Sir, there are massive amount of data coming. Oh, there she is. Uh, coming out, coming in from the probe. Uh, some of those things are standing out, including the fact that uh, the lunar scale is relative to the planet uh, only slightly larger than the earth's moon and the moon will high the density core and a large amount of silicate and graminium dust nothing extraordinary but just on the scope how much we run into seems familiar to us uh very well see what scientists have to say where are these scientists okay checking the map Tells me I have to go forward here. Whoa, Leda! Don't do that Superman jump. I hate you guys for doing that. You guys are cheaters. All right, let's talk to this uh, scientists. Ah, we've been expecting you. You've sent a good deal of interesting data to us. We've already been analyzing it. I'll let my companion Eshel explain the findings in more detail. Uh, it may be early, but do you have any interesting results for us? For uh, you can share. Uh, thank you, my dear Eshel. The first thing I realized is that the inert particles should be orbiting to obey gravity rather than holding position. I've been focusing my attention there while Ursha has been reviewing the logs from the disabled satellite. Here, check the probe data from the moon. If some outside force was acting on the particles, it should also be affecting the moon. All right, that seems like a good starting place. Uh, that would just be a symptom of a large issue affecting the particles. Oh, no, let's do that. Funny. My ocular implants are picking up a noticeable amount of germanium. There wasn't any outside. Where did that come from? Germanium, all right. That's how you pronounce it. Germanium in here, too. Oh, this guy is really sketchy right here. Oh my god, I'm getting a really bad vibe from this guy. <laughs> he is planning something. All right, continue. Oh, cutscene. Here, I'll show you. Oh, that's awesome. You brought those here, despite the danger they present. This was the best way to study them. We needed the lab's facilities. Oh, besides. We were just going to take them back to the moon when we finished. Uh, just a moment. I'm getting a message. Captain Kumarke, the Kessie ships have just entered the system. All right. Battle. Ooh. Oh, no. It's some kind of <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Uh oh. Why are they so interested in these crystals? What's happening? The crystals. They're hatching? What the hell? What the hell was that? Some kind of scorpion thingy? Ah shit! <laughs> Why are you guys firing on them? Shouldn't we st be studying? What the hell is that? It's kind of like. Are turning toward the planet. They're heading for us. We need to get the colony's defenses online right now. 
Shouldn't we, like, study those things first before we start attacking? All right. Uh, go to exterior. Okay, outside. Wow, I love these new bugs. I love the doors. Those are awesome. Go to exterior. What do we do here? See what I mean? The, 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 the... Wait a minute. There wasn't any bugs outside. It was just in the containment field. Where did these come from? What do we do here? Defend George at upper call. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's do some uh, damage on these guys. Holy shit, isn't that like a really big, uh... Go to the lower consoles? Alright, let's drop down here. What do we need? Do I need to do something? No. Okay, just protect them again. I got an endeavor prize. Oh, that the uh, yeah. I needed to heal a next amount of time. Uh, something that was going to be really good on this uh, ground combat, I would say a paradox bomb, just like this one right here. It's going to group everything and booyaka explode like that. Um, Okay, lots of enemies right here. I like it. Head down to the beach. Uh, Why are we tapped into their communications? That's weird. I'm liking it though. All right, so we're going this way. The local plant lights are attacking us. That's awesome. That is basically just like what something would happen. Oh, that is freaky. Transuli, okay. What? What did he say? See, grouping them together is definitely an awesome thing. Because that whole area right there is like vaporized. Are we fighting with us in Kethi? Oh my god! These guys are awesome. Nice! I love you guys! What? What's that? Oh, that's one of those superpowers. I love Kumar Cage doing that, that... These little softies are pretty tenacious. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> Ah, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I love these guys. These guys have a really good sense of humor, man. That's awesome. Okay, so... What, oh, uh, Dranzuli... I need to remember that. What is this? Oh, that's one of those. Hey, shit, both of my bridge officers have, di have died? Doesn't matter. I got new friends. I got Zizinkethi on my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, these guys are. Where do we need to be? All right. Nice. Oh man, these guys are my new friends right now. I'm actually going to stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, please, please stop moving. All right, that right here is going to be the new screenshot removing the HUD. Yes, saying Kathy on our back. Oh, that is crazy. All right, uh, now that that menace is destroyed, there is no reason to attack this world. Thank you for your assistance. This colony would still be of opportunity to flourish. Still has the opportunity to flourish. Uh, Zenkethi are moving into attack position now. We need to get to bridge as soon as po as soon as we are able. Wow. Okay. Um, when are we gonna get a Zenkethi bridge officer? Oh man, guys! If you are like one of the developers, please, I beg you, a Zenkethi bridge officer. All right, St. Kathy are on our attack. They are attempting to take down our defensive hill. St. Kathy are not replying to our hill and our direct assault course. What are your orders? Attack then. Who's she talking to? To me? Oh. Nice! Get her! Get her! Make her our bridge officer! She's on our side! Oh, that is freaky deaky. Uh, give me give me those bridge officers. Alright, let's see what these guys are up to. More ships? Yes, yes, we can. No. Oh, no. Where do we need? Okay, here. Combat is a little bit high. Can we? No. A fix, maybe. All right, maybe that's gonna work. Command ship. Co cover you, man! Look at that! You just destroyed my ship in one hit. Uh, no, we got a little bit of uh, DPS on our... Can we... There we go. Uh, no, that's gonna hurt us. How much hit points does this thing have? This is on normal difficulty. This thing has 100... 35,000 DPS or uh, hit points. So it's not a lot on normal. Advanced could be more if you guys are feeling up to it. I'm just want to I just want to play this mission so I can have all of the goodie eh. um proto matter field that's always nice.
Holy shit, this guy is hitting hard. Oh my god, I'm liking the way this thing is going. I'm listening, Captain. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, um Alright, go. We'll we'll probably meet somewhere else. Very well. Alright, uh, what is she talking about? Who is this on Torak? Is this the other guy that was actually... Uh, wanted to destroy this entire planet? Or is this on Torak? No, this is probably the, the, like, the, the captain. Alright, that she subdued. Uh, choose your side carefully. Hmm. Okay, understood. These guys are good. Nice. All right. So that was this uh, this mission. Oh, wow. I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, all right. So depart the system. Grab the rewards and see what all of these uh, set bonuses are going to be. But so far, wow. Thumbs up, man. Both of my thumbs are up. Wow. That is that's crazy. I love the intricates of the Zen Cathy on these things. All right. Let's see uh, what Admiral Quinn has to say. Protect them. Despite the incident at Draenor, we don't know if this species is truly hostile. Finally, I've spoken with officials in both the Lucari and Kentari governments. They're going to proceed at Draenor despite the incident. We will continue to assist them in this endeavor and protect them from any Zenkethi reprisals. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is basically the reason why we are going to get the Zenkethi. Um, uh, uh, beach assault or whatever that thing is called um, and also maybe the red alert uh, if it's in the queue somewhere yeah beach assault is the ground portion uh, red alert for the Zenkethi is basically in space because the Zenkethi wants to eradicate these, these uh, crystals with these eggs and whatever uh, name they actually called him, them um, so that explains a lot, but they don't explain what these hatches, links, those those bugs uh, actually was were. They just explain that Zenkethi are really uh, afraid of those. Nice, I like it. All right, let's grab the warp core because Singularity Core is for the Romulan faction. And also October 12th, we're going to get the Impulse Engine, 19, the Deflector, and 26, we're going to get that Colvarian Shield. Awesome. All right, let's collect that one. Go to my inventory. More details. All right. Uh, increases maximum shield power by 5. Addition okay, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we just read those. Uh, also, a Zenkethi a shield capacitor, shield batteries for duration increase. Your shield power level also restores small small amount of shield of all facing repairs offline subsystems. Yada yada. Oh, it doesn't even say what those sit pieces are. What the hell, man? Come on. God damn it. 
All right. Well, I guess uh, maybe that's why that there is like an emergency patch or downtime of uh, today. Today being Wednesday, uh, this uh, episode actually went live yesterday on Tuesday. And I'm really enjoying it. Coming back to the episode, like definitely enjoying all of these set uh, pieces, bonuses and all of that that, it, that is giving us... I'm definitely enjoying more shield uh, hit points, uh, even though having more shields um, when you're doing like when you're fighting the Borg as an enemy, they basically drain your shields. So these shields are not going to be really preferable when you're going to fight the Borg. But every other enemies that is not draining your shields like the Borg do, these shields are definitely an an an, an addition to to your. Uh, to your starship and the options that you have. Um, definitely enjoyed that episode. Definitely liked that the Zenkethi could be an ally, maybe, in our uh, maybe future endeavors together. We did fight along the Zenkethi in that ground portion. I definitely loved that part. I didn't actually mind that while my bridge officer died off, the Borg bridge officer and Lita. I did not care for them because I had like more bigger friends. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you had a little bit of fun uh, on this channel, even though it's like already past due. I do have to say spoiler alert, maybe <laughs> at the end. <laughs> anyway, um, I probably should have said that in the beginning, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's over now. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, this episode, both thumbs up. If there was like a rating system, there was definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. Really enjoyed it. Um, they, the way that they introduced the new colony was like, look at these plants, look at this. They've got space station for research right here, or at least the ground station for research. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Got a little bit of a cinematic view of the entire colony. I just love it. I just love it. Anyway, um, guys, there are going to be a couple of more um, videos that I'm going to introduce uh, or at least that I'm going to make for the introduction of like season 14, everything that's new and stuff like that are going to be up in the upcoming days on my channel. So you guys might find those things interesting as well. I'm going to say for now, I'm just going to wish you guys a awesome day and i hope to see you on the next one so later later